What's up, YouTube? Uh, today, we're going to go ahead and strip down this Canik TP9 SFX. Uh, this is actually Tim's gun. You've seen him on the channel a couple times. Uh, it's got approximately 15,000 rounds through it, and it's been acting up a little bit accuracy-wide. So uh, we figure we go ahead and strip it all the way down, do a quick inspection, see how it's looking. Uh, but this video, predominantly, we're just covering the disassembly. So uh, with that said, let's get going. Uh, obviously, gun is clear. I will start with just a basic field strip. We got the frame, slide, guide rod, recoil spring, and barrel. Uh, we'll go ahead and pull this optic as well. Uh, but there you have the basic field strip. Okay, at this point, we'll go ahead and get the optic removed. Optics off. I'll go ahead and probably pull this base plate too so we can see, uh, make sure everything's snug and tight underneath there as well. And if you guys couldn't tell, this is a Vortex Venom. Uh, so this goes on the number one plate for the Canic TP9. She's dirty gertie though. She's definitely ready to be cleaned. Next, we'll go ahead and pull off the slide plate. Uh, in the Canics, you don't have to do anything with the striker. Uh, you just go ahead and pry it down. Get that removed. And then you can just remove your striker assembly. And next we'll go ahead and remove our extractor. Uh, so basically you have uh, your firing pin block here uh, to get the extractor off right behind there. Let me see if I can get light. So right there you just depress that. Uh, and that'll allow your extractor to actually come out. Uh, there is our firing pin safety and the firing pin safety spring. And then we'll just have to finagle the extractor there's our extractor and there's our extractor spring right here and that's basically a, a completely stripped slide uh, with exception of the site the front site so that's all we have for the top half Okay, so first things with the frame, uh, we're going to go ahead and push out the front locking block pin. A little bit more. There you have that. Then we're going to go ahead and push out the trigger pin. And 
Then we'll go ahead and push out the trigger housing pin. Here's your trigger housing pin. Now, as you've probably all heard, uh, we have the dreaded takedown lever roll pin. Uh, I've discovered the easiest way to do this is get the finest punch that you have uh, and allow the punch to bend. Uh, you're kind of making a sacrificial punch, uh, but you can avoid marring up your frame. So as you guys can see, this is a really, really fine punch, and you can kind of see that it's a... Uh, it's had, uh, <laughs> it's done this before. Uh, so basically, you just go from underneath and push that small roll pin out. Uh, it takes a little bit of finesse, but if you take it easy, there we go, that's better. Let the punch bend. And that's out. So, go ahead and get our punch out. There you go. Uh huh. And there's our roll pin. So, you can see how small that is. A uh, little tiny bad boy. But you'll see uh, very little, if any, marring of the frame. So, okay, at this point, at this point, we're ready to take the one end of that takedown lever off. Uh, but you want to kind of make sure you're holding on to everything because underneath this takedown bar uh, the actual the takedown stop or the takedown the slide stop uh, is actually under spring tension uh, so if you remove this rod without holding that this is going to fly so you want to go ahead and take the tension off of that uh, remove your takedown go ahead and remove the stop and the spring Oh yeah, now it doesn't. There we go. Okay, at this point we can go ahead and remove the locking block. And that just needs a little bit of movement to get it to release. And there's our locking block. And then you'll see the spring. This is actually your slide release spring. Uh, you'll see it goes in this small hole in the frame. We can go ahead and remove our slide release. Okay, and now we can go ahead and take our trigger assembly out as a whole. So that would be our trigger housing. the actual trigger shoe and the trigger bar. Uh, now basically all you have left in the frame, uh, which you can't really get a good picture of right here, is the mag release. Uh, there's your spring right there, so that would need to be removed. I have no reason to remove that right now, so I'm not gonna. Uh, similar in concept to how a Glock is, uh, but a little bit of different spring configuration. Uh, but that's it, man. We're pretty much stripped at this point. So uh, from here, I'm going to go ahead and ultrasonic clean everything and uh, give everything a good once over. And uh, past that, we'll get her put back together and we'll get Tim back on the range. Thanks for watching, guys.